in Vidavaya. It's a one-way street and it's the first main road you're going to enter after exiting the car park at the start of your driving test. The road priority takes you around to the right. At this point you should know whether you're going to take the first turning left or not. If the sat nav is being used, take an early look at it to see which way you're going to go after you move around to the right, whether you're going straight onto the main street or turning left back towards the bridge. If you're going left to the bridge, try and finish your right turn positioned to the left hand side of the road. This is an indication you're turning left and stops people coming down your left hand side. Remember, a left mirror check before you turn. The white lines on the left are not solid, so you can cross them. Keep an eye on the car in front. It takes a good line all the way through to the bridge. Don't come too quick into this first left-hander, otherwise you'll run wide. Once again, take an early check of the sat-nav to see which way you'll go at the bridge. We're going round to the right, which means we'll give way to cars from the left. We're positioned slightly to the right, a door's width and a bit from the parked cars, and ready to move to the right once we're past them. The traffic comes from the left, but check right at the junction for queuing cars and any pedestrians. You're now entering a 20 mile an hour zone, which lasts all the way through the town centre. Up ahead, we can see a van parked on the right hand side. Be ready to move to the left early. Don't be distracted, but take a quick glance left into the road to see if anything is blocking your path. It's early information in case you come back up that road later on in your test. Once again, the car in front is taking a good position. We're going round to the right, and so we're positioning to the right hand side. We give way if we turn right. Watch for queuing traffic and ensure you don't stop on the crossing. Also, don't pull off if the lights change. As we turn right, we're now in a 30 mile an hour zone. Remember to look right before the turn. There could be pedestrians and queuing traffic. We're now back into Vida Vaya. This time round, we're going straight on. I'm finishing the right turn slightly more to the right than I did last time when I was turning left. The 20 mile an hour speed limit starts now. We're approaching a T-junction where we must stop. We have to turn right, so position to the right hand side of the road. Don't approach too quickly. Ensure you get to the line and no further. You must stop. This junction's always busy with pedestrians. If you stop short, they're going to walk in front of you. Getting to the line effectively prevents them doing so and makes it easier on you. 
ensure before you move that you look right for pedestrians and watch for the lights at the crossing. We're now going to take the next turning on the right. This is just before the road that comes from the test centre car park. The turn's sharp, so I'm moving towards the centre of the road. Not too far left though, as it opens a gap to the right which a cyclist or motorcyclist could use. Use your right mirror before you turn. I suggest first gear is best for this turn. Setting gear might drag you around a little bit too quickly. Obviously though, try it and see what works best in your car. Notice it becomes 20 miles an hour again. The pavement on the right is narrow. Expect pedestrians in the road as you bend round to the right, or maybe they'll step off the curb if they're walking away from you. We're approaching another T-junction. This is a give way, not a stop, but there's no visibility, so approach slowly and stop. Once again, get to the line as this is going to give you good visibility both ways. Pedestrians will walk in front of you, so remember to check right before you move, because the traffic is coming from the left and that's where your attention is going to be. Notice I'm having to edge forward to be able to get a better view. There's lots of traffic. Don't panic and rush it. Go when you're ready, when you know it's safe. Don't feel under pressure to go if you think the examiner's wanting you to go quickly. We're going to take the first turning left. There's often cars parked just round the corner, so be ready as you come round to give way to anything that's approaching you. And we're going to turn left again. go straight on you can see the car coming towards us. This is a left turn and we're going to take that road so indicate left just as you're passing the car park entrance. Don't rush here. The road narrows as it goes left and this is a good passing place. Look ahead and if anything's coming towards you hold short otherwise you're going to meet them head on. Assuming you're not asked to turn left into the car park, we know we're going straight ahead up the hill. Position to the left, as cars emerging from the road on the right have no view of you coming towards them. Before you go up the hill, change down to first gear, roughly where the edge of that scaffolding is. This allows you to enter the hill slowly and gives you time to assess what's there. As I come round the corner, the road's narrow. I'm expecting pedestrians, either walking towards me or away from me, and cars parked on the right-hand side. To get a satisfactory view to the right, you need to get right up to the T-junction. Approach slowly and be ready for pedestrians to walk out in front of you. Stop short and you'll need to edge forward to see, effectively having to do two hill starts instead of one. If you end up short, you can see cars reflected in the shop windows. Don't rely on this, but it's an aid to help him to know whether something's coming. Before you pull away, check to the left for pedestrians and also queuing cars 
and the traffic lights and whether they're red or not. Through the town centre now for the final time. We're going straight on rather than round to the right. And so this time we need to position into the left hand lane. Take the position early and remember to do a left mirror check to ensure it's clear as we move across. We're now moving away from the main part of the town centre and into the north part of Cardiff.